Hello and welcome. Uh, in our previous uh, lesson, we talked about um, the squeeze theorem as far as limits of uh, function and um, sequence is concerned. We look at one example, and um, in this tutorial, we're going to look at another example. So let's look at this uh, example two. All right. So we have evaluate. of 1 divided by 7 power n, 9 power n and plus 11 power n. So all raised to the power negative 1 over n. So we find the limits of that actually. So we are evaluating to evaluate the limits. So the limit of this as n approaches um, infinity. Right, so this is what we handle. Okay, so let's see how we do this. Okay, so let's begin with this and see whether we can rewrite this in a different form. Okay, so this and also be written as the limit of that in indices we, we learn something from indices that when you have a over b and um, and R is raised to the power, say, n negative m over, say, n, for instance. And this is the same as saying that, so when we reciprocate this, it gives us b over a, then the negative sign automatically disappears, so we have an m over n. But we want to use that again, so we can reduce this to look a little bit nice. So we have the limit of this, so we now have 7 power n, 9 power n, and 11 power n. And then, so all this, so as we reciprocate, then the negative sign goes. So we have this, as n approaches infinity. So now it's looking familiar, it looks simple now. Alright, so let's, let's go ahead and use the squeeze property to evaluate this. Right. So, using the space property, you need to actually remember under what condition uh, that uh, particular property is applicable. That particular property is used when we have a certain sequence and it is less than or equal to another sequence. Less than or equal to another sequence. Like this. And when we are able to find the limit of this particular sequence as n approaches infinity and it is equal to a certain value and realize that, okay, this one also is equal to the same value, then by the squeeze property, you see that then the limit of the, the, the sequence in the middle, uh, as n approaches infinity, is equal to the same value. So it means that we have to create two other sequences from this particular one. So we start by writing this in the middle. We have 7 power n plus 9 power n plus 11 uh, power n. Alright, so we have it here. So we have less than or equal to, less than or equal to. We want to bring a sequence here which is going to be less than or equal to this one. So I have seen 7, 9, and uh, 11. So let me start by bringing 11 n. So we just put 11 n, the power n here. So that we agree that this one is going to be less than or equal to what we have here, actually. Then we are looking at creating a certain or different sequence here, which is going to be greater than or equal to this. So we have 7, 9, 11. So I choose to put here 11 power n plus another 11 power n. So I am just writing 11 power n here. A lot of them, so that you realize that this is 9, this is 7, 9, and 11. But 11, 11, 11 is actually going to be greater than. Uh, or equal to what we have here already. So, you see, this condition here has been achieved. All right. So, let's look at how we can simplify all that. So, from there, it implies that. So, with this particular one, so we are raising power to another power, so we multiply. So, we have n over n, which gives us 1. So, we have 11 over there, and less than or equal to. 
So yeah, we will not simplify it because we don't know what to do with it. So we'll still maintain it here. Yeah. So seven that. Uh, so we write it as it is. Right. And this will be less than or equal to. So we have 11 power n, 11 power n. So three terms here. And 11 power n has okay price over here. Yeah. So it's common. So I factor 11 power n out. Realize that we're we having 1 plus 1 plus 1. Uh, such that if I expand this bracket, I'll get whatever is here. Back. So all this uh, to the power 1 over n. Alright, so we have here. 11 less than or equal to, so this one, you still write it as it is 7 power n, 9 power n, 11 power n or it's the power 1 over n so this should be less than or equal to so here we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives us 3 so we now have um, 11 plus 3 multiplying 11 power n so all this to the power 1 over n Alright, so here we still have this and less than or equal to uh, 9, 11 power n then 1 over n less than or equal to so here we are multiplying so the power here affects both 3 and 11 power n so this and this gives us 11 multiplied by so this will give us 3 raised to the power 1 over n Right. At this point, we find the limits of each of the terms. So, limits of 11 as n approaches infinity should be less than or equal to the limit of. So, whatever we are evaluating, that is, um, all this as n approaches infinity, and uh, this should be less than or equal to. So, this is constant, so it comes out multiplied by the limits of 3 to the power 1 over n as n approaches infinity. Good. So um, this is constant and limit of constants is one of the properties of limits. So limit of a constant is a constant itself. So here the result here is 11 which is less than or equal to. You don't know this so you still write it as uh, we have it here. And then um, so we have it that way as n approaches infinity. So this should be less than or equal to. So for this particular one, realize that as n approaches infinity, this particular aspect of the sequence approaches zero. So this one is approaching zero. So we realize that uh, one over n approaches zero uh, as n approaches infinity. So one over n approaches zero as n approaches infinity. Well, as this is approaching 0, we realize that 3 raised to the power 0 gives us 1. So 1 multiplied by 11 produces 11 as a result. You see that the limit to this side is 11, and the limit here is also 11. So we can confidently conclude that by the, the squeeze, the squeeze theory, so the squeeze theorem or the squeeze theory, well, the squeeze property, the limit of um, 7 power n plus 9 power n plus 11 uh, power n, r is the power 1 over n, um, as n approaches infinity, uh, is equal to 11. Alright, which also is equivalent to writing that the limit of 1 over, so we are writing it in a form that uh, it was so 7 power n, 9 power n plus 11 power n uh, as n approaches infinity, um, all this will be equal to 11. Alright, good. Um, thanks very much for um, watching this particular tutorial. Um, so we'll meet again, keep calculating and solving questions on introductory analysis. Thank you very much.